I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Sunrise. Friday, March 5th, the reading is from Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the story of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, that their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth, that their words to the end of the, wor end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes forth like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them. There is nothing hid from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover by them is thy servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern his errors? Clear thou me from hidden faults. Keep back my, thy servants also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgressions. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. In the heavens he has set a tent for the sun. I'm not a morning person. In fact, it's pretty rare that I am up early enough to catch the sunrise. So what a spectacular treat it is on those rare occasions when I am. I am always in awe of how the light streaks the sky in bands of orange and pink and blue, like swipes of watercolor across the canvas. I like to think of God, our Creator, as an artist. Our great earth is the biggest, most remarkable canvas, and everywhere I look, I see God's creativity at work. When life drags me down, I find myself in a time of doubt, in troubled times when I wonder if God really exists. All I have to do is look up at the sky, and I find the evidence of God's glory on full display. Let us pray. Creator God, thank you for the sunrise and for every natural thing that reminds me of your glory. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.